In the late 1960s and early 1970s, many Americans answered the call of duty to serve in Vietnam, including many from right here in North Dakota. While a few were drafted, roughly two-thirds of Vietnam veterans enlisted voluntarily. Jim Nelson of Bismarck was one of them. Mike D'Andrea was able to meet him and tells us about his service to our country and our community. Jim Nelson is originally from Garrison and enlisted into the Navy at the ripe age of 17 back in November of 1968. He said he received a letter after joining in what was called extended entry. That's all the letter said was I'm coming for a physical. I went and got my physical and then I went in this room and I raised my hand and took my oath. And the next thing I knew, I'm on an airplane going to San Diego, California. And thus, Jim's naval career began. He had never been on an airplane before and says it was a little nerve wracking. He also got married upon graduating boot camp. And uh, that was the thing to do back then in those days was you had to get married before you went off to war. He was originally slotted as a hospital corpsman, essentially a naval medic, but things changed once he got to Balboa. I looked down the hallway and that's all I could see was casts on people. And uh, I, was, I was on the floor for about a week and I started looking at names. Most of the names Jim read were hospital men that were attached to Marine Corps units in Vietnam. Afterwards, he requested orders to the fleet, and that's where he became a signalman, or a sailor that works as a visual communications specialist. His time in the Navy took him all over the Pacific, including historical sites such as Pearl Harbor, as well as Korea. And of course, Vietnam. It was then 1969. When I first saw Vietnam, it was almost like I was going back into Pearl Harbor. It was just beautiful. I mean, it was, it was surreal, palm trees, and you'd have never known there was a war. However, at night, Jim says that's when he was able to see the flashes from the gunfire. One year after the initial Tet Offensive of 1968, he was tasked to aid the Marines in another flare-up near Saigon, receiving some much-needed R&R near Thailand afterwards. However, in a war zone, there's only so much relaxation. Somebody made a wrong turn, and the USS Frankie Evans was cut in half, and uh, 74 sailors passed away that night. Jim says his ship, the USS James E. Kyes, was one of, if not the, first ship on the scene to provide assistance and save the lives of the remaining sailors. When I started scanning the water, I, I couldn't believe what I saw. It was just debris and, and personal items and wreckage from the ship. The front half of the USS Frankie Evans sunk in 10 minutes. In 1971, after three cruises to Vietnam and reaching the rank of second class petty officer, or E-5, it was time for Jim to leave the Navy. But that doesn't mean that his service to the community and his country were done. He took a job at the local Montgomery Ward in Minot and wanted to go to school. Didn't know what to go to school for, so law enforcement sounded like a good, good fit at the time. He was then hired as a dispatcher at the Ward County Sheriff's Department, but the demands of the job led to Jim putting school on hold. He worked at the department for seven and a half years, reaching the rank of sergeant. After years of hard work, Jim not only served the community, but he also furthered his education. Went to school, uh, got two finished my associates, got two bachelors, uh, in both in education, one in history and one in social science, and then a friend of mine that was on the sheriff's department that was under me, that I trained, happened to be a professor that, of a class I took. And he talked me into going for a master's in criminal justice. So I thought, okay, that sounds like a good deal. While retired in the classical sense of the word, Jim still spends his days taking care of others that have answered the call of duty. He is a member of AMVETS and joined an organization called the 50th Commemoration of the Vietnam War. Since 2013, I've been looking for the family members of the KIAs in Vietnam. There were 198 from North Dakota, and, and I started looking for family members. To date, I have found all but 40. Jim says that in his house, there is no such thing as retirement. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, I'm Mike Dandria. Sounds like he stays pretty busy. Jim's grandson has made the decision to join the United States Marine Corps following in his grandfather's footsteps. Now, KX News is honoring the stories of our local veterans all month in our series, Veterans Voices. 
You can see these stories on our website, kxnet.com.